Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin and welcome to the final video of our 2022 Holiday Buyer's Guide series. Today we're talking Ned Rigs. This Buyer's Guide series has been so much fun. It's always challenging for Matt and I to put our heads together and really simplify categories you know because we're both tackle junkies we have a bunch of this <laughs> a bunch of that and we we try all of it but for you guys we know that we want you guys to get the best bang for your buck and that's why we try all this stuff throughout the year uh, we try to make this as easy as possible for you to share these videos share the links with your loved ones so you could get the stuff that you want for Christmas to use all the way through next season. So, and now we're so close to Christmas. This one really, this is just for you, the tackle junkie, just like us, to make it easy for you to pick the right baits for you. I mean, we're right. I'm not sure that you could actually get this stuff in time now, but it's still such good stuff at a good time of year. Good time of year. You'll, you'll use it all year long. So, uh, Ned Rigs, it's a category that needs its own video. Yeah. We didn't throw it in with the other plastic bait video but um i guess i'll let you kick it off and then we'll go here do you want me to talk staple baits first yeah let's talk about staple you know, the, the, the ned rig go. the ned rig kicked off a few years ago and the, the ned rig is just it's a downsized profile that gets bit when nothing else is getting bit it's a bait you can rely on brutal conditions freezing cold temps come in post frontal your fish are just shut down you don't know why it's the day after a major tournament. A Ned Rig just gets bit. Z-Man owned this category. They brought it to market, and they had one staple bait to begin with, which was the Finesse TRD, which is still the staple, the staple. bait. Yeah. Uh, that TRD is a do-nothing bait, but it's it floats, and it just stands up on the bottom, and that little bait is there, and fish just come along and pick it off. A couple of other key Z-Man baits. And by the way, these are all Elastec. They're stretchy. You put a TRD on a Ned Locks jig head, you can fish that thing for a month. I mean, it's ridiculous. You will not go through a pile of these baits because they are stretchy and they just last. But two others that really stand out would be the TRD Bugs, more of a craw profile. And then the Ticklers. I'm going to pull a Ticklers out. The Ticklers is just like the finesse trd except the end is split four ways let me open these up so when those fish come down and they're staring at that thing there's just a little bit of movement there's just a little something there and it can make a difference and they'll pick that thing off but those three the finesse trd that ticklers and that cross or bugs, bugs. excuse me the bugs are just a staple as it gets with a Ned Rig. And for each one in the video description, we'll link the baits. We'll also link our favorite colors for them. Yeah, like Matt said, Z-Man owned the the TRD market. I mean, the turd, the TRD, that's what everybody calls it, right? Uh, with that Elastec, just know that they don't play nice with others, so keep them in their own packages. Don't put them in yeah, they'll a, melt a Plano box or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna talk about these next two baits. These are two of my absolute favorite, well, one of my absolute favorites, quickly becoming one of my absolute favorites. This guy right here, this is the Robo Worm Ned. Specifically, this is Tackle Warehouse custom color. It's called Black Blue Pumpkin. I can't tell you how many giant largemouth and smallmouth I have caught on this specific bait right there. The thing with Robo Worm, you get their colors, right? You, they have some of the best colors on the market and they do custom lines. That guy right there. The other one that I really like is the can, desert. Can I guess? Yeah, desert, desert craw. craw. Could have pegged that from a mile Those away. Those two, it's more of a craw color. This one's more of like a everything. And who knows what a TRD or a, a, a net is supposed to mimic, right? You know, especially when it's just a straight piece of plastic floating. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be a guppy or a sculpin or a crawdad or whatever. Obviously there are profiles, craw, profiles right? But just that straight, who knows, they but it eat works. It. The next one that I'm super excited to talk about is this guy right here. It's the new new one from Yamamoto. This is their three inch Ned floater. It's basically a Senko, it's the Ned Senko, but it floats. So the benefit, I mean, 
how long have we needed an electric shad Ned rig? I right, mean, right. That is money. Um, can't be more excited. Obviously, you get the same great quality, same great colors from Yamamoto. So Roboworm, Yamamoto, those are two absolute staples in my Ned Rig arsenal. Yeah, and both of them are just such unique color options. Right. Uh, I'll do these next two. Okay. This guy is my personal favorite Ned bait. It's a unique profile, and I have no idea why I latched onto it the first day. But when I saw it, I saw it in the package, the Savage Gear Salamander. I looked at it in the package and was like, oh, that's gonna be my favorite. I don't, you remember that? I do. And, and I don't laugh. even know why, but it turned out to be true. This bait, it's got a ribbed body, so it's got a lot of movement because the actual center between all the ribs is extremely thin. So it's got little legs on it. It's a little tiny salamander profile and it has a ton of movement when it's sitting there on that head. And I've done so much damage with that bait. It just flat catches on them. I've got a couple of colors, you know, green pumpkin, that's like the staple in anything, but their mojito color, I crush them on that color. Uh, I don't know what a tiny mojito salamander <laughs> laying on the bottom, I don't know why that attracts a bass, but seriously, they eat them. Uh, and then the next one, the Missile Baits Ned Bomb. I'll pull one of these out too. The Missile Baits Ned Bomb, more of that typical Ned profile until you get to this narrowed down, super thin tail on that bait. This one stood out, well one, it has awesome colors. Yep. But two, in our underwater footage, we had a couple of times where we were working that bait and it, it's one of those things where you're sitting behind the computer screen, editing a video, you're not really, I mean, you're in it, but it's just, it's a monotonous thing. And all of a sudden you're like, look at that bait. Look at what it's doing. And that thing's just sitting there waving. That little tail, again, adds a ton of action to that profile. Not necessarily my favorite bait for freezing cold water where you don't want a ton of movement, but springtime, going into summer, same deal. Fish have come off the beds, they're lethargic, they're kind of in that funk, and you want a little bit of movement, that's a killer killer option and this is by far my favorite color it's plutonium green pumpkin core it's a core shot bait kind of have a, has electric shad green pumpkin ish that's a cool thing color going on now last but not least this is new this year and i it's the the micro finesse trd i'm gonna pull this out just so you can see how small get you this is trd too compare it to that one Look how small that is compared to the normal TRD. This is tiny. So we all thought this was tiny before when we downsized from our five inch Senko to a, a two and a half, three inch bait. Yep. Now look at this right here. The new <laughs> micro finesse line from Z-Man. Uh, same great Elaztec, right? Like Matt said, you could fish this thing probably for not for a month, but a long time. A long you can catch time. a lot of fish on this right here. Uh, but the, the new micro finesse line, it's it's going to be one of those baits that works really well with the new, B, well, not new, the BFS system, the bait finesse system, ultra light baits, ultra light rod and reel combos. Uh, that is also a winner. You guys should check that out. Uh, I'm going to talk about the heads briefly, and then I see you have brought a chartreuse head, so yep. there's probably a reason. But three styles of heads. For that micro finesse stuff, they're so small that even a standard Ned Rig head is too big. So Z-Man came out with their micro finesse shrooms, a dedicated head with a tiny little micro hook in it, but it's still a fairly stout hook. So it's not like you're gonna take this little micro bait, throw it out there, hook a three pounder and get bent out. I guess if you threw it on a flipping stick you would, but on appropriate <laughs> gear, that hook is great and you'll be just fine. Our main two heads, my standard head is that Z-Man Nedlocks HD. That's my favorite Ned head all around. It's got a good stout hook in it and it just does a great job. On the other end, you've got Tungsten. The Swagger Tungsten Flanders head is a Tungsten head. And Tungsten is a funny thing. They cost a lot more money in anything, right? Flipping weights. Tungsten costs way more than lead. 
but there's an actual reason to have it and it's two parts one it's more sensitive if you're on a hard bottom you're much more connected to what's going on down there and two and this is a thing that's super subtle especially with little baits like this tungsten is way louder when it's bumping on the bottom it's louder and it's smaller I love that little, I can shake that on a hard bottom and it's just thump, 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 thump. It's ticking the bottom. In underwater footage, it stands out. You can really tell the difference between tungsten and lead. It's a huge difference. So three different heads, three different situations, but we really do keep it very simple. Very simple. One other alternative I'm going to add, throw a little wrinkle into the mix. Uh, play around if you haven't already with a chartreuse head on your Ned baits. It doesn't matter if you're throwing a natural color like electric shad or green pumpkin. Uh, throwing sometimes throwing that chartreuse head. I haven't figured out exactly why. What makes it works better? <laughs> make it makes it work better. But I think like Matt talked about the tungsten with the sound. I think you're pulling fish from yeah, just, just more drawing power exactly from a farther distance they can see that if it's a little bit of murky water even in clear water i can tell you i'm a big smallmouth i've caught on a chartreuse head in 30 foot of visibility but some some reason the smallmouth just don't like chartreuse they want to eat it they want to kill it they can see it same thing with the big large mouth so if you haven't already get yourself some chartreuse heads and if you're finding that your your bite's a little slow on the ned rig i mean here it is i literally have the line still tied on these i was fishing these the other day green pumpkin Electric shad, chartreuse, electric shad. That is a combo that I usually switch up if I find that I'm not getting enough bites nice. on the traditional natural head. Gear? Why don't you jump? Yeah, jump into rods. Okay, so go high end. High end. All right, let's just go right to the top. All Might right. as well. Uh, so those of you guys that are into Ned Rig fishing, you guys know that it is a thing, right? It is a thing that works all around the country all the time. Yep. We have found, I have found, the best rod that I like throwing for this technique is going to be this guy right here. This is the NRX Plus 821S NRR, Ned Rig Rod. Yep. The benefit of this rod, it's an NRX Plus. It feels like a feather in the hand, and it is extremely sensitive. Paired up with a Shimano X Accents, um, that is just an amazing combo. It, this is the lighter of, kind of torn between the Stella the reason being is when I'm fishing straight fluorocarbon, I'm fishing big smallmouth. You want that Stella drag system, that that infinite drag. It's just uh, that is the best drag for me. Uh, but the accents when you're building a ways nothing, nothing feather light, pick combo. it up. One of my yeah, just be comfortable fishing all day, buttery smooth. I went ahead and paired the accents on this. I go back and forth depending on what I'm fishing, but this is the ultimate Ned rig. Call. Yeah, if, if you're the guy who enjoys throwing a Ned Rig and you appreciate high-end gear and you want to know what is the combo of Ned Rigs, that's it. Uh, that 821 NRR is just phenomenal. Now, for the majority of anglers, the guys who money is no object, it matters to you, bang for the buck matters to you, but you also are fanatical about a Ned Rig, we've got a a phenomenal mid-priced combo. Uh, this is the Shimano Zodius 7.6 Lite. That light is awesome. Paired up with a Vanford, it's featherweight for its price point. Uh, and it is so soft. It is such a fun Ned Rig combo. Uh, I pair it up with super light braid and then I tie a light fluorocarbon leader and go. Uh, that 7.6 loads so deep. When you're working that bait, a lot of times I fish a Ned Rig a lot in the heart of winter. And a lot of times the bites are so subtle. But with that 7.6 light, it's such a long, thin tip section. I see deflection in the rod. Even pulling a Ned Rig has that rod loaded ever so slightly. And all I'm doing is staring at the rod, looking for it to load a little more. I'm not even trying to feel a bite. Because the bites are so subtle, they'll just pick it up and hold it. They don't even go anywhere, so it's never going to pull. But I'm watching that deflection, and in this light rod, you see that little bit of extra bend, and you just lean back on them. I love that setup 
for a Ned Rig, it's a great combo. Yeah, when you're diving down into this technique, you're gonna learn what a 10th ounce head feels like. You're gonna learn what an eighth ounce head, you're gonna feel the differences. And what Matt's talking about with that deflection, you're gonna see the differences too. You're gonna be like, ah, there it is, there it is. That's a little more, what's that? Yep, what's that? So, oh, that's that, a bass. Right, that's, that's where you're really dialed in. So I went ultra high end. Now I'm gonna give you guys my budget friendly combo for a Ned Rig. This is the Bass X. This is the six foot 10, let me go ahead and read it for you. Six foot 10, medium light, extra fast. The reason I picked this one, those of you guys that know St. Croix know that their actions are a little bit more uh, moderate than most. Mm -hmm. So it's even though this is listed as an extra fast, it's still fairly soft. I paired that up with the Daiwa BG. This is a combo right around $200 or so. Put some braided line on there, put up a, a nice fluorocarbon leader, you will have some sensitivity, and you guys can go out and throw any of these baits on a nice spinning combo. Awesome. Guys, with that, we are officially wrapping up our Holiday Buyer's Guide series. It has been a long ride, it's been a wild ride. Hopefully there were some videos here that made a big difference for you or for your loved ones. Uh, we love doing this series because we know it has an impact on people every year. Everybody demands it. That's why we continue right. to do it year after year. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed this series, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in a couple of days with our regular content. We're looking forward to it. Talk to you soon. See you guys.